Greetings, my dear beloved children. Today I'm going to tell you what happens to a person who does not want to get rid of their passions, which then take on very different characteristics. And believe me, dear ones, I want you to know the ins and outs of the astral world, not to frighten you, but to make you aware of the harmful consequences of your negative emotions which you let out, like the genie in the bottle. You let them out with such carelessness. Let us take the particular example of a person who cannot forgive and who harbors a grievance day after day and see what happens to this person. First of all, it begins to take root in the physical body, resulting in neoplasms such as tumors and cysts. And if one does not come to his senses and change his course of thought, these neoplasms will turn into cancer by swallowing all his organs. These are the consequences at the level of the dense matter. And what happens at the level of subtle energy? The astral beings that feed on the generously generated energy of offense becomes bigger and bigger and turns into a real demon of offense. This is exactly how demons appear, dear ones. Just as a tiny embryo in its mother's womb gradually grows into a human being, so an astral being, which is the soul particle of someone feeding on the energy, so characteristic of that person, it starts growing larger and stronger and develops into a demon. Unlike the lower astral beings, this creature has its own consciousness and, like the human embryo, is connected to its victim by a navel rope, which facilitates the flow of the energy of the offence back and forth until the demon of the offence arrives in the astral world. Since the astral world is a reflection of gross matter, of dense matter, the processes that take place here are the same, but they are of a subtle nature. Creatures are born out of subtle matter. Precisely, your emotions, which are certain vibrations of energy density of this or, or that kind, so what happens next to a newborn demon? And this creature, like a child on earth, grows, matures and opens up the world, the astral in this case. But it has an unbalanced development because to feed itself it uses only the energy of offense, which is in fact what it is made of. It knows from the cradle the one and only food it needs to survive and flourish and it tries to get as much of it as possible. It usually fixes its affection on the human who raised it, like a child's on his mother. But later it sees how the earth rests and finds new sources of nourishment when its parent is totally exhausted or has died. Therefore, through frequency vibrations of the energy of the original offense, it is attracted to someone else obsessed with this passion and as there are many on earth, it begins to grow by leaps and bounds until it turns into a huge demon who, with the accumulated energy, can totally control the consciousness of humans and make them do terrible and thoughtless things. We are not at all aware of all these things because the demons are very clever and sophisticated 
and have at their disposal many improvised tools and means which we will talk about next time. We will stop here for today. The Absolute Father who loves you beyond measure has spoken to you. This message was channeled by Marta and it was read for you by Adriana.